Pierogi have been a staple of Polish cuisine for generations. They are a touchstone of Polish culture and heritage. But the process of preparing pierogi for a family dinner is time-consuming and labour-intensive. It's an all-day affair. Modern convenience has taken much of the hassle out of preparing a pierogi dinner. But there are still those who prefer the traditional way. Katarzyna has been preparing pierogi for her family since she was a small child. Kiedy miałam 5 lat, moja babcia po raz pierwszy pokazała mi, jak polować na pierogi. Musisz wstać bardzo wcześnie, żeby złapać te najlepsze okazy. Nie ma nic lepszego od świeżo złapanego takiego dzikiego pieroga. This section of the forest has already been hunted. The pierogi have learned not to stray into this area. Katarzyna would have to continue her hunt elsewhere. And so she goes deeper into the forest in search of her quarry. Zobaczysz pojedynczego pieroga, to wiedz, że to jest znak ostrzegawczy, bo normalnie pierogi nie dają się tak łatwo złapać. To by było zbyt piękne, gdyby było prawdziwe. Tu jest jeden. Pierogi are social creatures. They are often found in large groups known as flocks. Mmm, truskawkowe. Fuj, kurde. Katarzyna has decided to take the hunt to a part of the forest where the best pierogi are known to graze. This spot looks promising. But these hunting grounds have already been claimed. This is Malgorzata's territory. Katarzyna will have to keep moving. She's only gone a few meters before she spots her prey. Wygląda na to, że moja przynęta działa. Leżą na talerzu. It's an entire flock of pierogi. Katarzyna has caught them unawares. It's a stroke of luck. If she manages to take down the whole flock, it will provide enough food for her family for an entire meal. The element of surprise is on her side, but she must act fast. The pierogi have caught her scent. They sense danger in the woods. It's a game of cat and mouse. Unfortunately for the pierogi, they are no match for Katarzyna's agility and speed. She brings down the entire flock. Not a single pierogi escapes. A hush falls over the forest. On her way back home, Katarzyna encounters three more pierogi flocks. Every single one of them is completely wiped out.
Niektórzy pytają mnie, dlaczego nie pójdę do sklepu, żeby kupić pierogi, tak to robi większość ludzi. Dziwią się i pytają, jak ja mogę tak chodzić i polować. Ale to jest naturalne pole rzeczy. Bóg nas tak stworzył. Katarzyna brought home more than 50 pierogi today, enough to feed her small family for nearly two entire days. And then the hunt begins again. <laughs>